that we uh, use in the um, in the church and what do they mean? Um, we talked about the tunic, we talked about uh, the, the tunia, which the deacons and the priests wear. We talked about the stole or the badrashin that the deacons wear. We talked about talasana, the head covering that the priests wear. And now I'm going to talk about um, something we see all the time. A lot of people call it sadreya, which is what you see now uh, the priests wearing. Um, but this is, has roots in the Old Testament. As you can see here, it's a short picture of uh, Aaron or a picture of the high priest. Um, and um, this is exactly according to the description that God gave Moses in the um, book of Exodus, how he should um, set apart Aaron, how he should consecrate him, and how he should also vest him, get him vested. And this vestment here has meanings. Um, as you can see, um, if you see the next slide, if you kind of zoom on the center part here, this is what uh, the focal point of the ephod here, which is like a, what they call this, a, a, that's why I call it a, a breastplate, because that's why we call it sadreya. And this is what uh, the high priest wears very close to his heart. And you can see here there are, how many rows of precious stones are there? How many rows? There are four. Each row has how many stones? Four times three equals 12. I'm, you're good in math. That's good. So 12. We've got 12 stones. What do these 12 stones represent? You remember, he's the high priest. The high priest that stands before God. These 12 stones represent something important. Hmm. Sorry? Well, this is Old Testament. This is like a picture from the Old Testament. Okay. I just had somebody... The 12 tribes. Thank you. The 12 tribes. These are the sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes. Remember, uh, God, um, uh, the, he kind of organized the people of Israel into tribes. Okay? And every tribe had its, its role. It has location around the tabernacle. There were three tribes to each side. Um, God set aside the tribe of Levi to minister. Um, and um, but other the other tribes were around were around the tabernacle. Um, even though that only Levi and uh, only Aaron and the and the tribe of Levi could minister, but he wanted as a high priest. To, when people see him, remember that he is carrying all our cares and concern before the Lord, and he's close to his heart. So. When he would appear before the Lord, he is not just um, appearing on his own behalf or behalf of a select group. He is saying, you know, he's praying for everybody. He is praying for everybody. All these, the 12 stones represent the, the 12 tribes. And even the priests now who says, I, I pray for, um, for his own weaknesses and also the weaknesses of everybody. All the problems of everybody. So, and... Um, this, what we call the ephod in the Old Testament, kind of um, was the precursor to what we have now as Adreya here. Um, you'll see that it's, um, it has some crosses here. But if you uh, ever, ever see the, 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 the Sadreya um, for, a, for a bishop or his holiness, you'll find a little bit different. You'll find that on it, instead of these 12 stones... There are the 12, somebody said, what do you say? 12 disciples, right? Yep. Who said the 12 disciples? Yeah. So now, if you look at, 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 at what the bishop would wear, we would have the 12 disciples. Instead of the 12 tribes of Israel, now in the New Testament, we have the 12 disciples. Um, again, he's, he's now, again, the 12 disciples here does not mean the disciples themselves. Exactly like we put the 12 disciples here. The, the 12 disciples represents the the spread of the church that's why we have them all kind of spread across the iconostasis here the 12 disciples represents the 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 church as you know as we say we pray for the peace of the church from one end of the world to the other from one end to the other all the way across so when the bishop or the his holiness the pope puts on the 12 disciples he's saying you know i carry the concerns of all the church all over the world. 
That's what it means. He carries, he carries the concerns of all the church all over the world. So now we learn about the 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 tunic. We know about the badrashin, the stole. We know about the talasana, which is the the crown, and we know about the sadriya, which is uh, the ephod or uh, the breastplate. The role of the priest here is 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 very important, and you can see that always you know when everything that the priest wears, there's a cross on the front and a cross in the back. The priest usually. When he prays, he's facing which direction? When you pray. When he, when he teaches, he faces the people. But when he prays, he faces the altar. Yeah, the altar, the east. So, the crosses, who sees the crosses on his back? The people. The people see the crosses on the back of the priest. So that means the people see the cross of Christ through the priest or the bishop or the pope or whoever is leading the, the prayer. And then there are crosses on the front which are facing the, the altar or facing the, the, the bosom of the Father. And they are the, like the crosses of the people that God sees. So here becomes the priest become the... The, the, huh? the what? Mirror. mirror or, or actually it becomes like the, you know, um, the middle, middle person, middle man, like as they say. Usually, middle man is, has negative control, but the, a good, no, this is a good middle man because he is carrying the concerns and the problems and crosses of the people to God and carries the strength of the cross of Christ and the grace that comes with it to the people. So, you see now why there are crosses in the front? See the cross on the front and the cross on the back? The cross on the front is the cross of the people that that is presented to God and the cross. On the back is the cross that people see. Um, by the grace of God, we'll continue uh, other talking about uh, uh, vestments that we see, that we use in the church. May everything be the, to the glory of his name now and unto the end of ages. Amen.